Good evening, everyone. It's uh, Pastor Stanley uh, here with you uh, with some exciting news. And I know it's going to excite a lot of you because uh, I'm excited over the prospect of us coming back together uh, next Sunday, June the 7th, the 11 a.m. service. Uh, we're going to open the Bread of Life uh, in the sanctuary. Uh, I'm gonna, if, if you're going to be able to come, I'm going to be able to see your face and preach to you. And I'm looking forward to that. I, I know it's going to excite quite a few people. But um, we do at the same time. We want to remind people uh, that we're going to need your help getting the information that's fixing to be shared with you. Uh, get it out. We're going to put it on our Facebook page and on the church website uh, where you can copy it or print it off and, and get it to your neighbors and your family just in case they're not on Facebook. Um, but uh, we, we've got to get that information out. Uh, it's going to be too lengthy for us to send out on ChurchCast. Uh, so uh, before you send me that text message, please know that it's, uh, it's way too much information. Uh, so we're going to depend upon you to help get the information out uh, to those that may not uh, be uh, seeing us on Facebook or have that access. But at this time, I, I, I want to tell you I'm excited, and I am looking forward to it, been looking forward to, looking forward to it two months. Uh, but I do want to share uh, the letter uh, there are copies of it here at the church. You're welcome to come by and get it. Uh, or as I said, you can print it off from Facebook or the website, the church website. Uh, but let me share this with you uh, at this time. Uh, as we prepare to resume our worship together, we do so knowing that it will not be the same as it was in the beginning of the year. Uh, things have been different for the past two months and will be different for a period of time yet to come. With the opening of the sanctuary for worship, please remember that we must follow the recommendations of the CDC for the safety of all that attend. If you have underlying health issues or are not comfortable being in groups right now, then we urge you to continue to join us online as we will continue to use those outlets. The seating in the sanctuary will be spaced out to keep social distancing. Uh, some rows of pews will be blocked off. There will be someone to help direct uh, those attending the service. Everyone will enter the sanctuary and exit the sanctuary from the main entrance, the foyer entrance, where someone will open the door for you. Uh, you will be offered a mask if you do not have one again. We are uh, trying to follow the CDC guidelines uh, for group gatherings. Hand sanitizers uh, will be readily available, and the sanctuary will be sanitized before and after the service. Uh, your assistance may be needed after the service with the cleaning. Thank you in advance. Um, we will not start Sunday school back immediately due to the fact it is not recommended uh, we gather in small areas such as the classrooms. The Sunday evening service will continue to be aired online for the youth for the time being, as will Wednesday night study. As things progress, the Wednesday night study uh, we will be reevaluated each week for a couple more weeks. There are offering boxes located in the foyer to drop your tithes and offerings in uh, to help, uh, help be touchless. Uh, you may uh, continue to mail your tithes and offerings if you so please. Uh, I know that this is not how some would like it, but it is not a situation any of us have experience with, and we will learn as we go. We ask that you be considerate of others, conscious of others' well-being, as Scripture instructs us to put others before ourselves. Also have understanding that we must, as Miss Rennell uh, in our conversation last week, Miss Rennell said to me, we must learn how to walk again. None of us have all the answers to all the questions, but we will work through this one day at a time, one step at a time, learning how to walk before we run. We do not fear this virus. We do not fear this virus. Let me say that to you clearly. We only strive 
to keep God's people safe. You are asked to please try and understand this and not be critical. We are all brothers and sisters trying to get through an uncertain and confusing time. We will get through this together as the body of Christ. All of you are loved and greatly, and our greatest desire is to keep you healthy and well. We look forward to seeing you June the 7th for the 11 o'clock service. Please make sure that you tell your neighbors and your family that we're going to gather. We have the ability to, to stream this to the spiritual life building also. So if the sanctuary reaches the maximum that we can put in here based on the CDC, then we will have seating ready. You can watch the service in the spiritual life building. But we look forward to seeing you. Um, it's been a while and been a long time. May God bless you, and we're excited. I hope you're excited too. See you soon.